Hello everyone, um, been a while since I've done a podcast. At the minute I'm in work so if you can hear background music and stuff it's just as a gym class going on so I've got a few minutes, a um, little break so I just thought you know what, I'm going to speak about um, the videos that got uploaded yesterday of John Bon Jovi singing some songs. Um, as we all know it's the first time in 18 months or so that he's, he's sung in public. Um, Rumours obviously that he's had focal surgery, especially with the scar on his neck, that kind of proven to me that he has. Um, we know that there's a new album coming out, the recording for the album at the moment, and I'll be honest, for, for the first time in a while, um, I thought this might have been the time where we hear a bit of improvements in John's voice. I said 18 months off with absolutely nothing, you know that's not like Johnny usually is here, there and everywhere doing some show, whether it's a corporate one or to do something with the, the Kings of Suburbia or, or something, you, you, there's usually a, a performance of some sort by John, but we've had literally nothing for, for 18 months now, pretty much since it's all finished. Um, so yeah, when I got a message from a friend of mine um, and he said, have you read the, the clips of John uh, from his performance last night? And I'll be honest, I was excited to hear it because well, I, I don't know if it excites the way, but I thought, right, you know what, uh, let's let's hope there's some improvements here. Um, and as soon as he sent me, I gave the fa first five or ten seconds of listen, and just instantly I was, I, I just see no improvements. Um, I don't even know if he sounds worse. I think he sounds worse. I just, uh, it's so, it's sad to, it's sad to say, it's sad to hear because not only does he not sound great, in my opinion, and, and many others, but. He just looks a bag of nerves. The guy who was the most confident front man, in my opinion, at one point, even up until probably 2011, 2013, he was still a, a great front man. He, had, he was full of confidence, full of energy. He's now singing songs and the slow songs, he looks a bag of nerves doing it. His pronunciation is just strange. Um, I'm no vocal expert, I'll never claim to be one, but it's anyone with with decent hearing or with normal hearing it's it, it, you can just tell that's poor it's really really poor um his vocal range seems gone he still sounds like he's whispering a little bit when he's trying to sing it's like he can't go up a notch it's just it's painful to listen to but it's also very very sad to listen to and it's sad to see him look that way um there's just no in my opinion there's no way he can do it all absolutely no way and don't get me wrong i'll be a mug and i will pay for it i will pay to see them they're my favorite band i want to see them as many times as i can before before they go because before the before we know it uh, they, they won't be here anymore or they won't be touring anymore and there's nothing better in my opinion still even though it doesn't sound like he used to there's nothing better than a bon jovi concert day the build up meeting friends going to the show and, and just singing the song to over john where you can't, you can't really hear him sing it. There's nothing better, um, but it, there's just no way you can have people filming in this day and age with YouTube, where it'll go viral straight away. And you know, with the music here show that's that's happening, um, he's gonna have to perform. That's that's what the show is. And obviously, we get people to, or they get people to, to perform Bon Jovi songs as well as like a tribute type of thing. There's absolutely no way that's going to be live. It's going to be recorded, absolutely doctored like the Hall of Fame was, and it's just, uh, I just it's sad, as I said, it's sad to see. Um, in my opinion, he shouldn't be carrying on tour. It, it, that, that's my honest opinion, and as I said, that, as much as I want to see them live, and I will pay, if tonight they announce the tour's going on sale tomorrow morning, I'd be up and I'd be buying tickets. Um, but it, it shouldn't be happening. And it's people like me who are probably keeping, keeping the ball rolling because he's making too much money, but I just don't understand how he can think he he can, he can almost get away with it in some ways. Um, I'm more than happy for albums. Uh, yeah, they haven't been as great as they used to be. Everyone knows that, but I still, there's still three or four songs on an album which I, I'll go back to, and there's still one or two that I still absolutely love and might be in my top 20 of the last decade or last two decades, maybe. Um, and I'm open to that, but I really think 2024 box sets, 
which is rumoured, the documentary which is rumoured, a new album which looks like it will be coming out in 2024. All these things should be happening. Should a tour happen? Not in my opinion. Maybe one or two shows in like a, a London Palladium like they done last time to promote an album, but I just don't think I just don't think he's up to touring anymore and he's just gonna ruin his legacy even more than he already is. Um but people are saying, you know, bring Richie back. Richie's a train wreck as well. You only have to look at that podcast the other week that the guy is a an absolute mess at the moment. I don't think anything's gonna save the band. Um yeah, I, I just thought that I've got a couple of minutes, I'll give my verdict on it, you know, I, I post my thoughts on Twitter anyway and all you get is, oh, you're not a fan, is this a hate page rather than a fan page? Uh, it's all rubbish that because, as I said from day one, I'll give me honest opinion, I always have, I've been a fan for over 20 years now, I think I'm entitled to give my opinion on them. Um, if you think it's great, that's fine, I don't understand how you can think it's great, it's probably the same way you don't. Understand now, I think it's awful. Um, but for the first time in a long time, I'd say that it's been about 85 to 90% agreeing with me and 10, 15% not. And that's quite rare. And it just shows that John at the moment just can't hack at all. He can't hack three songs. You know, he's doing Here Comes the Sun, which I can't stand anyway. Um, South Travel, he's doing the slow version of Bad Name, like the This Life Feels Right version. Horrific, absolutely horrific, and it's my life was so bad. Um, God knows what he's going to be like when he's got a singer in a higher register. And yeah, I don't know. I, I can't even cut him some slack. He's had 18 months off. It looks like he's had focus surgery. I suppose I can cut him some slack if he has tried, but if if the announcer tour, um, we know, we know, and he always has done it for money, obviously, the same way we all work for money, but you know that that's the only motivation now because he can't get up there and enjoy it. He looked like he wasn't enjoying that the other day um, for them three songs. So how he's going to perform 17, 18 songs again, the only way he'll do it is like he did last time with prayer and do a playback version because there's just no way he can hack it. And if they are going to, it's going to have to be spread out massively. I don't know whether he's just not warmed up. I don't know whether he's tired from the studio. I, I, I'm trying to think of excuses for him, but I don't think there is an excuse. In my opinion, 2024 should be the end of Bon Jovi, and that kills me to say, because as I said, I've been a fan for so long. I absolutely love new material coming out. I love the build-up to a new album coming out here and snippets of seeing, you know, the, the band talk about it and a new video coming out and so on. I love all that, but tour miles anyway, the band definitely should should call it a day it's just it's not fair on us as fans to go through it it's not fair on john to put himself up through that torture every single night he's only making his vocals worse which is doing himself no favors at all um yeah it's just that's my honest opinion i'm still i'm keen to hear everyone else's um i haven't posted many videos of it because i got links um for, like on WhatsApp and I don't know where they've come from, so I'm not, I can't put a credit up. Um, so anything that is on Twitter, I've just retweeted and they're all I can send unless obviously someone wants me to WhatsApp them or whatever, and if I've got your number, I will. Um, but I'll do that. So yeah, that's my opinion on it.